fair do you get off stating that one of my teammates is a homosexual? Where are your facts? Current Colorado head coach and pro football Hall of Famer Deion Sanders sparred with a well-known sports writer way back when. Do you know how detrimental that is to a I, guy I such don't state that at all. This book is about a very troubled, paranoia-plagued relationship, or lack thereof, between your quarterback, Troy Aikman, and Barry Switzer that disintegrated over a two-year period to where they didn't even speak. The always controversial Skip Bayless. When, when uh, it got so dark, as you recall, in early December, the final grenade lobbed from camp to camp was that, uh, you know, the old rumor, it's, it's five years old here in Dallas, Fort Worth. I, I'm sure a lot of people had heard it before that Troy is gay. Now, I've talked to Troy about it. You know. I have never heard Time that. Out. This is a Time man. <laughs> I'm not gay, but Troy is a good looking guy. He is a good looking you know, guy. I agree. And I'm now, sure I talked to Troy. I'm sure that. he could get any woman Troy. he wants. The conversation and disagreement centered around a rumor Bayless ran with when publishing his book that Troy Aikman, star quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys, was gay. This was the book, Hellbent, the crazy truth about the win or else Dallas Cowboys. Troy says that he's gotten a lot of mail about this over the, the last four well, or five I'm years. Sure. And he took the opportunity in this book to just completely shoot a hole in it. We're talking about five pages out of 300. You will put no credibility in it, no credence. Yep. And Troy took the opportunity yep. to, to put Journalism it to bed. Journalism 101. Once Journalism 101. Right. You do not print rumors. Even Pam Oliver would check Bayless in this sit-down discussion. You think we're getting completely off the subject yeah, no, of the book. You know, that's I mean, this the is most such a tiny part of it. What about true. this, Kim? How Troy, Barry, Jerry, mm -hmm. and Dion, and Emmett, and Michael won it all in spite of themselves? Well, it's what, what, what kind of statement is that? Excuse me. When when you write a book like this, are you looking for controversy to sell your book? No. Are you writing facts or beliefs Dion, of yourself? Great, again, the gay thing is such a small part. It's you, not you'll a say, small yes, part it is. unless it, it's yourself. You Dion really tore him to shreds here with logic, didn't he? But when sports writer Skip Bayless moved from the morning news to the competition, it created quite a controversy among his peers. He doesn't apologize for the change or his big new salary, but being the Chip Moody of local print has made him the target for some resentment. No different than anyone else. Uh, I feel like I'm the most hated guy in town. Uh, now I can't go back to the morning news for fear of being gunned down by the guards, go back to clean out my desk. I haven't even done that yet. And uh, I feel like I'll walk in the Times Herald and uh, 20 staffers will dive on me and uh, string me up from the, the fixture or something. You know? This goes back to a story we covered on how Bayless accelerated his media career to one of the most despised sports writers in the country. In the book, Bayless would wonder aloud, what should the sexual preference of a pro athlete matter to a journalist? He noted how easily rumors can attach themselves to superstar athletes. Alex Reimer would write, many in sports media were puzzled with Bayless's decision to print it. The journalistic ethics of Bayless's decision to address and thus lend credence to unsubstantiated gossip about Aikman's private life is questionable at best. It's rather odd that Skip Bayless would make it seem like such a small part, especially when Bayless and publishing firm Harper Collins decided to include it in the inner sleeve of the book. The Thus, Bayless wrote of the rumor from Barry Switzer's camp that Aikman was gay. Lee Steinberg, the player's agent, along with a team source and local sportscaster Dale Hansen, all confirmed there was no evidence to suggest it. Skip, I'll tell you what. When you go over there to the Cowboys now when you visit, do you feel friction because of your book? Because I know it's a lot of my teammates really don't like you at this time. But, but I can't. That, that's my job. Bayless's former boss would even weigh in on Skip running with the unverified rumor. Skip attacked people for the sake of doing it. His gay take on Aikman was the most unfair thing in my 44 years as a journalist. Bayless would then nonsensically state, I soft pedal. You can't imagine how much I didn't use. There's likely a reason for this. The intel received likely wasn't used because it wouldn't benefit Bayless, an opportunist, enough. Bayless would then play victim. He and Aikman to this day still have tension between them. As David Hyde of the Fort Lauderdale Waterdale Sun Sentinel wrote, I'm considering we have a new low, a new problem, and a new class of sports reporting voyeuristic journalism.